Mind you, of the two teams, Phil Neville continues to deputise at left-back for Everton with Nuno Valente out with a hamstring injury. But Tim Cahill's back after missing his first Premiership game of the season at West Brom. So he and James McFadden come in for Kevin Kilban and Marcus Bent in the two changes to the side beaten at the Hawthorns. Well, the one outstanding statistic for Everton this season, we know, is the chronic lack of goals, only four so far. And that must be what David Moyes has been looking at this week as he tries to put things right. Could have played Marcus Bent up front or Duncan Ferguson alongside James Beattie, but he's gone for James McFadden in the hole to try and support. And I think the reason for that, he might just want him to help out in midfield at times where Newcastle are very strong. And it might be a case sometimes as well of Tim Cahill swapping roles and making those late runs into the box, which he's so good at when he's on form. And there isn't too much outright pace in this team, but Andy van der Maida on the left-hand side, he's certainly got that. And the onus is on the winger to attack Peter Ramage and try and make things happen from that side. Newcastle's gradual process of getting their walking wounded back continues. Alan Shearer starts with the international break, meaning he's missed only one game, the defeat by Chelsea after his hernia operation. Albert Luque, who tore a hamstring in only his second Premiership match, is back on the bench. But there's no immediate return to Merseyside for Michael Owen, so Shola Amiobi plays again at a ground where he was sent off in May. Well, I don't think that back four is the most watertight you'll find in the Premiership, but Newcastle have managed six clean sheets this season, and that's as many as they got a hold of last term. I think something to do with that is that strong midfield that can protect. And uh, with Scott Parker and M. Ray in there, that's slowly building up a very good understanding. M. Ray's the one, he's got great technique and vision, and I think we'll find him popping up in some dangerous areas today to support that attack. It does lack the pace without Michael Owen, but Alan Shearer and Shoal Amiobi, I mean, ideal, they're not the ideal combination together. Both like to play with a back to goal, but if Solano on the right and Zogby on the left can supply the service, well, we know what Shearer can do with it. How the world of Everton fans has been turned upside down in the six months since they beat Newcastle here in May, thanks to goals from David Weir and Tim Cahill. A day later, they reached the Champions League qualifying when Liverpool lost to Arsenal. And yet here the sides are reunited with the chill wind of relegation, a big threat to Everton Football Club. Actually, since the win against Newcastle here six months ago, Everton haven't won by more than a 1-0 scoreline, but that would suit them down to the ground today. They'll be looking to draw on the positives of the two 1-0 victories they've achieved in their last three matches, and possibly the international break came for them at just the wrong time, bearing in mind how they came off the back of that with the defeat at West Brom. Yeah, I think also like, what they'll be trying to feed off is the two recent home performances. 1-1 one, one here against Chelsea, and they beat Middlesbrough here as well at home. And uh, you look at this Goodison Park crowd, and if they see this team come out and start sharply and start confidently, you know, they're almost worth a goal start. They can be a real boost for the side, but it's one of those days, it's a day for character for the Everton players. Go out there, want the ball, volunteer for it, and try and make things happen. David Moyes has called for all the qualities from his players that you expect to take as red. Hunger, desire and character. It's the transformation that's been so shocking for Bill Kenwright. One minute you're looking at the bounty that comes with being in the Champions League and next you're looking at the threat of the financial bonuses of being in the Premiership taken away but there is still a long way to go in this particular season and it's a heartening sight for Newcastle fans to have Alan Shearer back at the head of the line a well-timed operation to coincide with the layoff through international football anyway meaning that the only game he's missed was the one against Chelsea it's amazing isn't it her new operations a few years ago they used to take months to recover from but uh, Alan's back up and in action and uh, the Newcastle fan would love to see that leading out the side such an important presence in the dressing room as much as anything else but to get out in the park 
the ground today where he actually suffered a bad injury in a pre-season tournament a few years ago that ruled him out for four or five months. Emre just behind and Scott Parker in the line as well. Oh, Strictly Come Dancing. Is that the seltzer? <laughs> Vote them both out. Howard Webb is today's referee. David Weir, who scored in this fixture for Everton in their win at the back end of last season. Shearers enjoyed plenty of joy against Nigel Martin down the years. 14 premiership goals Martin has conceded to Shearer in 13 head-to-head -head matches. Well, through the narrow confines of that uh, dressing room corridor, the officials have to squeeze their way to the head of the line to lead out the two teams. And as ever, they come out here at Goodison Park to the strains of the 70s police drama, Z Cars. And the blue lights have certainly been flashing for Everton. But how much of an emergency is there? Dip in form. We'll find out as they take on Newcastle after the break. It's back to Goodison Park, where as you can see, they are organizing respectfully a minute's appreciation of the life of George Best. So today, as supporters of Heaven FC and Newcastle United marking George's death and celebrating his massive contribution to football, we feel it would be only fitting to replace the traditional minute silence with a period of applause. So please, ladies and gentlemen, on the sound of Howard Webb's whistle, will you please pay your respects to the great George Best. I think George Best would have liked that. Join our match commentators, Alan Smith and Rob Hawthorne. Well, a hat-trick short of equaling Jackie Milburn's goal-scoring record for Newcastle now. Alan Shearer is back at the ground where he launched his Newcastle career. And one of those who learned from him is in the Everton strike force. And there he is side by side with him now, Everton's James Beattie. The two were together at Blackburn Rovers and maybe just be reminiscing there ahead of Howard Webb's whistle to start the match. Well, a year ago tomorrow, these two sides met at St James's Park and Everton then were third from top in the table. They start this one third from bottom. A draw would be good enough to take them out of the bottom three. Really, they need to go for the win. A goal would be a start. And a ground where they've struggled to find the net this season. This is Simon Davis. Hit out by Celestine Babiaro. Davis has played the last couple of matches in central midfield, but his inclination is to drift out wide. It's been taken from him there by Babiaro. Here's Shola Amiobi. Defended by Joseph Yobo. Amiobi's tangle here was with Cahill last season when he got sent off. 
referee was Barry Knight that day, and the uh, repercussions of that saw Graham Souness get a fine and a touchline back. DT. Looking to get the better of Titus Bramble. This is Arteta. An opportunity to deal with that, didn't you, Titus Bramble? Under pressure from Alan Shear. Oops, some change of pity, sorry. It's given a little bit of encouragement for every strike, striker looks for. And for all the investment that Newcastle have made, there is still a feeling across the Premiership with, with the likes of Doomsong and Bramble at the heart of their defence. They are there to be beat. Here's Cahill. For Shea Gibbon. Here's Header. Now Tony Hibbert. It's McFadden. Boom song at his back. No foul. to Phil Neville. And the first thing that Everton will want to do is just try and start with a high tempo. And that has been too many pauses in the game. The ball goes out, put it back in play quickly. Shearer linking up with Amiobi. He's caught then by Phil Neville. Neville, who's preferred to the uh, position these days, is in midfield, but needs must for Everton at the moment. Times on the end, he's been fouled. Not too much in it, just catching the forward. Ramage and Boom Songen and Zogbier behind Shearer. This is an area where Nobby Solano's return to Newcastle has benefited them. Can he provide the service that those who've drifted forward require? Bramble has just joined the line as well to get into the opposing area. Looking for Shearer around the back. But that was anticipated by Nigel Martin. Yeah, it was a little bit too much of a flighted ball, that one, from Nobby Solano. Maybe a little bit more whip. Yes, Hibbert. kick, Shearer, Amiobi challenging with Weir, winning the battle of strength, and losing out to Van der Meda. Here's Emre, now Solano, Parker is quite tight for him, they got away from McFadden, Amiobi, giving away, Van der Meda finds James McFadden, Arteta's forward to his right. Referee's allowed the advantage and now brought play back for the challenge by Bramble. And that's a good opportunity. Bramble's tackle early did Newcastle a favour because Arteta bombing up that right-hand side could have been dangerous for them. Sometimes when Duncan Hope Ferguson's in the team, it's all about getting the ball your man and just getting a touch where you can get a header on goal or just flick it down. Climbs well, James Beatty, very well. Smiling more than him, needs a bit of confidence at the moment. Goals in uh, both of the last two Premiership matches here for James Beatty. In fact, he's the only Everton player to score for them here in the Premiership this season. Yobo managing to resist Shoran Yobi. Really caught that one. <laughs> On 
done by Beattie. Pretty tight for Andy van der Meder. Bramble. Arteta. Now Cahill. Here's Tony Hibbert. Cahill. This is an announcement from all the Steer it out to Mikel Arteta. You can sense just that little bit of apprehension within the Everton side when they get on the ball. Just thinking twice about what kind of pass they're going to make. It's not flowing as you'd expect it to. And they're certainly picking up points. That's how they would normally play. But uh, the crowd as well, just on the edge of the seats really waiting for the team to get them going rather than the other way around at the moment. I can understand the edginess that is here at the moment. They're 13 points short of the total that they had at this same stage of last season. Petey here is flagged offside. As I've mentioned, he's the only player to have scored here in the Premiership this season and Everton are actually the lowest scorers not only in the English leagues but throughout Europe. It's not a tag that you want for your side, is it? David Moyes, I said at the start, that is the one area that he want to try and get right. How you do it is a different matter. All about confidence, really. DT managed to turn away from Boomsong, looks for McFadden, Ramage got in the way, crucially for Newcastle. Beattie then showed a clean pair of heels to Boomsong. Can he roll away from the defender this time? Look to set it up for Davis. But Beattie's won the free kick anyway. Oh, we're pleased with those couple of bits of action, James Beattie. Good ball across goal. And using his strength to back into the centre half. Get the free kick. It's half a dozen to one, but the arms round. Oh, that's what Howard Webb sees. He's backing in Beattie. A little bit lucky maybe to get the free kick. Fadden and Arteta over the kick. Davis going across to join them as well. It's McFadden! And it comes back off the goalkeeper and Boomsong in the right place to complete the clearance. Now Van der Meder, away by Bramble, then by Ramage, here's Solano, Shearer, Emre, Ramage, Scott Parker, Solano, Shearer who strikes it, and it's closed down by Davis. And first time Newcastle have been able to string a few passes together, keep the ball in that final third. Aviaro, away by Yogo, but he was caught in the process. Well, this is when you want your centre forwards just to be anticipating, following the keeper in. A little bit of bad luck on James Beattie's part. It's popped up the other side. Good strike. Fadley uh, warm the hands of given in there again and very nearly in the right place from Babiara's back header. We've got the touch. It's little touches like that, isn't it? Whether it's Shearer or Ami Obi, where you're looking for Michael Owen to use his pace to get in on it. Shearer's got his back to goal, so has Ami Obi. Late 
late in the week that it became apparent that Michael Owen wouldn't be able to make his return today, so thanks to today's partnership. Put himself about, Shola Miobi. One more than his fair share ahead of so far. Everybody looking at the retirement of Shearer. Who's going to take over that famous number nine? Well, he's in the frame for it, Miobi. 24 now, Miobi. You'd expect that he's learnt a fair bit from his time alongside Shearer. He's a skillful player. I'm not allowed to bet that. Between them, Neville keeping an eye on Shearer, Yobo just tracking Amiobi. Ramage's kick in Bramble's direction, but away by Cahill. On by McFadden. There's Babayaro. Now Scott Parker. Bramble. Solano cleared by Joseph Yobo Weir to Neville. And Cahill was uh, caught in the crossfire there. And it was Solana that dived in. It was actually Scott Parker, wasn't it, that caught Tim Cahill from behind. He's straight back up and in there, and he's got a good leap on him, Cahill. He might be a danger in this situation. It's Van der Meder, swung it in low, and a rather haphazard clearance from Alan Shearer. They got away with it. Everton, that was a routine free kick. He just didn't get the delivery right, Andy Van der Meder. He's got another bite at the cherry now. From Van der Meyder's corner, goes short to Davis. Neville. Trying to line it up for Yogo, but it's a comfortable clearance for Ramage. And Arteta is back. Here's Neville. Arteta. And Zogby. Tight on the touchline for Mikel Arteta. Percentage game at the moment when you're not confident, something that you often fall back on. Challenges in the air, getting the flick on, trying to get men, men around it. We want a few set pieces already, Everton. Tetris call that Cahill was in there looking determined, but Shearer got it away. Neville. presence in there and BC furious that his colleague didn't pick him out well that's the thing with Andy van der Meyder he's playing on the left hand side you saw him naturally check in and try and find his centre forward over hits it by a stretch in the end There's a difficult ball in from that angle James BT is now the subject of player cam
Yoba. Beauty. Come back from the outside position. It's a stop start game at the moment, isn't it? Neither side finding the feet in terms of passing. Finding the teammate, keeping possession, keeping the pressure on. Shakes his head. Expression says it all from Graham Sudas, who uh, got a touchline ban for events here last May. It's a self-imposed ban from him today as he watches from the stand. And he'll be pulling back there at uh, David Weir and Howard Webb wants a word. It's always going to be a foul when you put two arms around your man. That's what Andy Obi did. It's a good old battle, those two. Here's Beatty. Now Cahill. That was his challenge. Beatty. It's Cahill. his layoff, he never got a hold of it in the first place. The centre forward and he's having to stretch for it, Tim Cahill. Does get a piece of the ball. Doesn't appear to get too much of him, mate. trying to get some flow by taking the free kick quickly. Rear wins the ball. But Parker comes in to follow it up. Looks to make progress. Yoba away to Emre. Now Amiobi, now Parker. Now you have Bobby Yoro up to his left and Zogbia there as well. And Parker. Now the wrong option. Now he's going to be in trouble here, isn't he? Bobby Yoro pulling back Tim Cahill. It's good pace here, Cahill. Bobbio knows he can't get there. Probably a yellow card. First booking of the game then to Celestine Babiaro. Yes. Yes. Well, so this is come downstairs. Well, he's clearly not happy. Now the side got things together, but he's expecting more from his team. BT wants to get a header on. This kick by Hibbert. Controlled by Amiobi with Nsogbia moving on ahead. Nsogbia just tried to steer it back through to him. Solano, Amiobi's onside, Shura Amiobi. Hits it straight at the goalkeeper. Oh, Shearer puts his head in his hands. He's expecting a cut back here. This is the kind of skill that he's capable of. I think he is onside. Shola Amiovi. Good skill to cut inside. And it's decent, decent effort. I don't think he could have really squared that one to Shearer. Yoba. 
in comes Solano. Ramage. Now Scott Parker. Not the ball that uh, Solano needed. This is Arteta. Beatty. Fatten up to his right. Cahill challenging. Ramage did well to win the header. But Fadden strikes it against Boomsa. Here's Yobo. Hibbert. Back in by Joseph Yobo. behind Ramage, it was a crucial header away earlier to deny Cahill. Well, he's a big lad, Peter Ramage, and he had to be in this instance. Probably the best cross of the game so far, because James McFadden just puts it into an area. And Tim Cahill can be so dangerous. Stay strong though, the defender. Sixth game of the season for Peter Ramage, a product of Newcastle's youth system. More games than he'd played before this season as a whole. Challenges have we had so far. We're well into double figures. Centre forward against centre half. Another straight free kick. Good far out for Emery to have a go. Well, you'd imagine so, whether he just tries his luck and hopes for bits and pieces off it. Making free kick against Sunderland, but it's. Uh... A bit ambitious from this sort of range for Emery. They know themselves what they're doing in Newcastle. It's Solano in the end, looking for Boom Solano around the OB. And got a deflection on the way to win a corner. He seemed in three or four minds here off this week. by the presence in front of him. Emre's kick. Easily dealt with by Phil Neville. And Zogbier did well to win it back in the first instance. And wins another corner. Not too many touches the ball, has he? Charles and Zogbier so far. And we to get into the game. Delivery has been poor. From both sides so far. Well, can Emre now get it right? Vandermeer in the end, here's Parker. Fabiaro. Ramage. Well, for persistent fouls, we're risking a booking. Well, once again, showing his quick feet, no doubt that it is a foul. And Davy Weir accepts that. This is a much better angle and distance to cause Everton problems. Maybe we're just going back on the line by the post. It's a game of cat and mouse. Ramage going towards him. And again, the debate between Solano and Emre as to who takes this on. Well, slightly more against him, but the distance in Emre's favour. Solano. Well, you can see what he was trying to do. Execution fractionally out. Yeah, that's a really difficult skill. The keeper's over that side and he's just trying to con him. Make, make out that he's going to go over the wall and then just swivel the hips and go for that top left. Some distance off in the end. Andre Solano scored in Newcastle's last victory at this ground. That was four years ago.
Davis. Bramble. Neville. Away by Bruso. This is Arteta. Fabu looking for Van der Meda. Once or twice, Van der Meijer just dropping off the full back into a little bit of space on that far post. Van der Meijer goes low, and the quality of the deliveries we've seen so far has been disappointing. Well, been dreadful on both sides, Van der Meijer, from corners and free kicks hasn't been good enough. You work hard to get into those positions. It's a part of Everton's game plan. Work for the set pieces, free kicks, corners, and you've got to make them pay when you get there. An emotional day in prospect at Upton Park for our match coming up later. Manchester United's first game since the death of George Best from 3.30 on Sky Sports 1. Shot from Nsogbia. Decent effort, work it out to the spare man in Zogbia. Through the legs of Hibbert. Here's Scott Parker. Now Solano. Aguilar has made a decent charge, but Arteta had matched that run. Seems to take it out for the corner, though. He has corner. Yeah, look very close. Look from this angle as if it had just dropped over the line. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think it was. Well, the quality from corners from both sides hasn't been what we expect so far. Now the moment for Emre to get it right, perhaps. Oh, it almost broke for them. But uh, Titus Bramble couldn't squeeze it home from close range. James B2 relieved man who just popped off his foot into the danger area. And Ray tries his luck again, and this time Cahill wins it. And Zombie is underneath it. Here's Boomsong. Boomsong wins the ball and then hooks it back to Parker as bodies charge in. And it's slipped through, and there's a wonderful opportunity here for Shearer. And it's off the line in the end by Beatty. Oh, and Martin just did enough to delay the centre forward. It was a crushing challenge from Simon Davis in the middle of the park. He lets the play go on. I think Shearer's timed his run beautifully. Goalkeeper does well and well. That's when you want your centre forward out there defending, helping out. He comes to your rescue. Emre's kick, and it's Ramage's head wide. Well, how lucky we're ever to live. A chance for a header from Ramage. You're just expecting that man to burn the keeper and rifle it into the back of the net. Crashing Simon Davies' challenge. Maybe just needed to take another touch. Very tight angle. Going in, doesn't often miss the target, Alan Shearer. Get in there. Oh, a clash between Parker and Simon Davis. That's the leading arm from Scott Parker, I think. He's drawing the free kick. line and length a couple of times and not found it but that was spot on almost full James Bay BT kick you on the center forward in the middle can't quite get there beautiful ball Titus Bramble couldn't get anywhere near it
Davis Davis looking to set BT away again. Up against Bramble. Here's Arteta. Subject for player cam. Now we're going to concentrate on Alberto Solano. Here's Neville. Now Cahill. Warned of the impending arrival of Shane Ramirez. He then fouled him. To Arteta, he carries on, he carries on. Abiyaro switches off a little bit. Doesn't get the challenge in. Unlucky. McFadden. Neville. On by BT. Bramble. Initially looked as though he was prepared to let that run to his goalkeeper, but then decided with McFadden around he had to do something about it. Here's McFadden again. In by Davis, but uh, against Parker. This is kick. And points in the air for Peter Ramage to deal with today. And he's uh, not the challenge header. And they've won another free kick promptly. It's in Zambia who's given it away. Well, I just think that's a little bit clumsy from Zambia, nothing else. Good quick feed from Arteta. Well, that'll give uh, Hibbert and Arteta some encouragement, both players on that side now on yellow cards and Zogbier and Babayaro. BT and Cahill are danger in the air, as is Weir. Arteta swings it across, Cahill gets up, but clearing header. Bramble got it away. And for two's on the end of that one, Tim Cahill. This corner. Another one for Ramage to deal with. He's been busy, hasn't he? Ramage this half. He used his height to good effect. Positionally, he's been sound. Touches corner. We're going up this time. If he got a, a shove for his troubles, then David Weir. Back in by Van der Meijer. The crowd were appealing for a push, but David Weir didn't seem to make too many protests. Well, that was a half a little nudge, wasn't it, from Titus Bramble? Just put his man off.
Bramble. Back by Yobo. And that's back by Boomsock. And Zogby. Tetter. Careless moment from James Beatty. Here's Neville. Boomsaw. He's flagged offside. Oh, it's so scrappy, it's unbelievable at the moment, but Everton are the team trying to show the initiative, trying to get things going. I think if you're the Newcastle manage, manager, Graham Sooners, you're just expecting a little bit more from this team with the players he's got out there, a little bit more guile in possession, a bit more quality. when Emre to his left is furious he wanted it played to him I don't think he's entitled to have a shot I don't think he even looked up to see Emre and the OB an almighty tangle though Everton lack of communication there at the back see Phil Neville saying talk communicate that's where they fell down. Nobody took responsibility. Emre. Here's Ramage. It's Ogbeer coming round the back. It was important, therefore, that Martin got a touch to that. Well, whether he knew or not that there was a man bombing in at the far side. He's having to do it, but it's good mobility from Martin. Vital touch. Emery's <laughs> kick. Abiyobi! Well, they're claiming that it's handball, but the referee has just pointed for a corner. to be interesting was it Nigel Martin was it James McFadden on the line it's James McFadden stops a sure goal there well the referee's missed that one hasn't he the linesman too Serrano's corner Amiobi challenges for it will it break here for Emre does for Shearer and he's saved with his boot off the hook twice well they'll feel very hard done by here doesn't quite catch all of it Shearer but it was a difficult one on the turn really was good trailing leg for Martin well, ironic that uh, Martin denies Shearer with his boot when uh, Newcastle a moment ago should have perhaps had a penalty for the use of the hand of uh, McFadden right where the goalkeeper was making his dive not like it was going in for me I don't think Martin had got there Bramble. Oh, 
Away by Van der Meder. Here's Bramble again. Parker. Run back by Cahill. Tussle between McFadden and Emre. Doing really well in that midfield area, though. Everton, Cahill, McFadden, Arteta getting the boots in. Simon Davis. Has lost out and never has room to move into. He's only got McFadden forward for support and he's offended by Titus Bramble. Didn't really need to do that, Titus Bramble. McFadden was never going to run away from him. He got goal side. McFadden hasn't got the pace. Unnecessary one, he could have just shepherded his man out of danger. Going nowhere, McFadden. Third Newcastle player to be shown a yellow card. Tetter's kick. Oh! It could have gone anywhere, and fortunately for Bramble, it went over the top. Oh, those two involved in the scuff scuffle at the far post, such as the quality of the ball. It's always a difficult one for defenders. Oh, Babiaro, Everton are claiming has had a little bit of a swipe off the ball on Tim Cahill. Well, Celestine Baviaro is one of the Newcastle players who's already been shown a yellow card. Well, that's the referee seen him, that's the thing. It didn't appear first off that he had. He's just going to have a word. So managed to bring them out of the crowd to make his point the referee. It's a risky business as a defender. If you're trying to unsettle your man as the ball comes in, there's a hand anywhere near the face, the referee sees it. Easily a penalty. A look at the pair. On the far post here. It's that right arm in the face, Cahill reacts. Two right arms in the face. He's a lucky boy. He really is. From the corner, Hibbert swings it across. BT underneath it. Van der Meder looks to keep it in and does. Well, he's reacted, Tim Cahill, to the initial swipe. Defender, you cannot afford to do that. Howard Webb can't blame you really for not seeing it. And his eyes on the ball, the ball came into the box. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of one minute of added time to miss the first half. Just one minute in the first half remaining. Opportunity perhaps for Tempers to call, but here is Cahill in the centre of the action. Van der Meda! Composure. Chances, chances for Everton. And those are the best ones. Titus Bramble getting in a pickle here, not dealing with it. Decent enough strike, but Bramble has another opportunity to clear his lines, not put it straight back in to the Everton clutcher players. And easily have found Rosette out to the side here. Doesn't catch it all, Van der Meder. Fadden has a good chance and he's way off. Well, a lively end to the first half. McFadden lashing over at the end of a spiky first half in which Cahill towards the end was very much involved. Celestine Babayaro, who'd already been booked, taking a cheeky swipe at Cahill that went unseen by the referee. A referee who also turned down, it seemed, reasonable penalty appeals from Newcastle when McFadden 
on the line handle certainly plenty of talking points but also a welcome opportunity perhaps for frayed tempers to cool down at half time in this high stakes match it's everton nil newcastle nil well the competitive spirit threatened to bubble over towards the end of the half so we'll be keeping a very close eye on that confrontation between cahill and babiara because cahill now is in the gaze of player cap this is a fixture which has had a history in recent times of red cards four in the last six meetings nine overall in the premiership between these two and don't forget that three newcastle players already are on bookings from howard webb in the first half baba yaro one of them it's boom song headed by tony hibbert on by simon davis bt just couldn't help it onto mcfadden as he wished Here's Arteta. Space here for McFadden to operate in, and he hits it! Good save! That's just a start, and what he wanted, Everton. Fabiara knew he couldn't do anything against Arteta. He's on a yellow card, and this is a really good strike. And a good save as well. Just the sort of purposeful start that Everton fans wanted to see at the beginning of the second half. It's Arteta's corner, Yobo gets up and scores! Well, who would have had money on him as the first goal scorer? Only his second of the season, and Joseph Yobo gives Everton hope. Well, Peter Ramage has had so many important headers in the first half, but he just gets caught under this one. And Joseph Yobo climbs early, climbs well. And it's an emphatic header. Ramage can't get the spring. Yobo gets early, gets the arm on the shoulder of the fullback. Just the start you wanted in his second half. First premiership goal in 19 months for Joseph Yobo. His second actually against Newcastle. He scored on a previous visit to St James's Park but uh, normally you're expecting James Beattie to start the scoring for Everton and Yobo has come up with the goods and he has capped a determined start to this second half by the men in blue here's Hibbert just beyond the reach of Cahill here's van der Meijer. and now Phil Neville away by Jean-Alain Boomsop Here's Parker. Let's keep clearance this time by Yobo, but Neville able to clear. Arteta, short of options. Emre, left by Shearer for Solano. Just waited and that allowed Van der Meijer to pass. It's Cahill looking to set McFadden away. Given has come to deal with it. That's where they have looked dangerous, and you just think a little bit more pace, Everton, down the sides of this Newcastle defence that looks far from secure today. They could get a lot more joy, and maybe a day for Marcus Bent at some stage to come off the bench. More than happy the way this second half started, though, Everton. The McFadden shot, the corner, the goal. Perfect. Ramage's header, headed by Davis. This is Phil Neville. Oh. Phil Neville didn't quite come off. At 45 minutes and 54 seconds, 45 minutes and 54 seconds. Shola Amiobi. Already potential for change, Albert Luque. 
Well, I think he wanted to introduce him, didn't he? He said before, and 20 minutes or so to go, but he needs to inject something into this team, and he's been decisive about it, Graham Sooners, as soon as his team's gone a goal down. Chance to shake. service that James Beattie absolutely pines for, couldn't deal with it, Van der Maeda slicing his shot. Well here's the Newcastle substitution and the return to first team action of Luque in place of Celestine Babayaro. Luque who's been so unlucky having torn his hamstring in the second game of his Newcastle career against Fulham. Missing nine as a result. Well, they'll give him an extra threat going forward. Charles and Zogbier, and he's just tucking in at left back. They have been disappointing up to now in general play. Newcastle haven't created anywhere near as much as they would have liked. Headed by Bramble. Yoba. Cleared by Parker. This is Shaw on the OB. Shearer, now Luque, Parker's made the run from midfield, but Weir deals with it, Shearer, cleared by Davis, this is in Zogbia, now Luque, and sweeps up well, Shay given good starting position, always ready for that ball there in the back. already oh, but Luke, a couple of sweet touches a great vision Davis a bit launching it for McFadden here's Boomsong now Parker Solano, Shearer, and cross from Ravage straight at Neville. And ball that one. Oh, and she was certainly, certainly thought so. Five seconds into the second half before Joseph Yobo got that goal. Well, it was a really good climb from the centre half and a powerful header. And they on the post. Keeper couldn't get near it really. Well, the manager noted the time. A nasty shot to the system for Newcastle. Touch off for uh, Zombia. Well, 
Well, they haven't lost Everton when they've scored first. position when he took the throw. Boomsop. Now McFadden. Let's catch Newcastle by finding Arteta. Shoulder to shoulder with Nzogbia. Hibbets. Luke got back to the block. Oh, working room hard, Everton. That's had to do down so well to get that first down in the corner. And it's got his reward. Well, it was Arteta's corner that serviced Yobo for the goal. And it's the same player over the kick. But yet again, the delivery was good, different type of corner. And the post one to B2 gets the flick and then it comes back in. Oh, Boomsong goes down. Certainly wasn't B2 that shoved him. Here's Luke. Getting his body in the way. Now B2 screams it from Boomsong. Cahill close in support. Boomsong actually accidentally caught his own man there. It's uh, Scott Parker. Yeah, he looks in trouble, Scott. He was just climbing over him, Boomsong. And caught him with his studs. A real battleground in the middle of that park. No, the Scott Parker or MA have really been able to dictate the play. Now the second on the ball. Uh, purely accidental damage done to his own teammate uh, Parker here by Boomsong. Right boot. That does the damage. And Newcastle needing a response and uh, Lee Boyer is stripped ready to come on. He's the type of player that Gives you something a little bit different, loves to join the front pair to pop up at the right time in between. Well, more action to uh, come straight after this match with West Ham against Manchester United. Sir Alec Ferguson arriving, looking relaxed, and of course, the clash of the Ferdinand brothers on either side at Upton Park today. Kickoff is at four o'clock and it's live on Sky Sports One. West Ham against Manchester United. And two of Everton's next three opponents. And it's also, of course, the uh, match that handed the title to Kenny Dalgleish when he was manager of Blackburn Rovers and had in his team one Alan Shearer. under the kick, Arteta didn't really get a clean strike on it and hit it into the ground. Everton and the team winning the second balls at the moment. There's Parker soldiering on for now. But uh, Boya is ready to come on when the chance presents itself. Solano down. Yeah, 
Walker. Now Solano. Blocked by Davis. Beatty. Cahill. Solano blocks off Neville. He's innocent, Solano. The left elbow certainly caught Phil Neville. And no further action will be taken against Solano because he's uh, promptly been taken off. He has been uh, quiet today. He has been United substitution coming off at this time. Number four, Norberto Solano, and replacing him. So it's uh, Solano's withdrawal that Lee Lee Lee. brings about the introduction of Boya. Parker, who'd uh, taken that whack to the head earlier, stays on. And Boya, furthest uh, wide right of the, th of the uh, four. And immediately involved to stop Van der Meder progressing. Neville's throw. Now Van der Meder. <laughs> Taking a quick short corner here, Everton, but a touch of disappoints with the eventual cross to make the angle for another, this time from Van der Meder. He's happier on his right foot. Well, he's appealing for the foul, but there was a great chance to just dink this ball in on his left foot. Clearly not confident on it. Centre forward. You can't see Gibbon, but he just hesitates for a second, but does the job in the end. Good goalkeeping. Well, we see uh, strikers these days often criticised for not sticking their head in when the boots are flying. Shea Gibbon didn't shy away. Davis. Played again 
Forest in by Hibbert. Well, the second best at the moment, Newcastle by a distance, just can't get a foothold in this second half. Everton working so hard right throughout the team. Well, they'll be encouraged by the spirit they're seeing in this Everton team, the home supporters. We've shown here today that they have the stomach for the fight ahead. It was a particularly wounding defeat for them at West Brom because of the manner in which it occurred and the fact that it was against one of the teams that had been in peril with them. But so far, David Moyes getting the reaction from his team that he sought. Shearer's clash with Weir. Well, doing what Shearer does best, backing in. He's taking a look at David Weir. And I think he has caught him with the elbow. that he has a look before the elbow comes up is what has got the fans so annoyed here. And he does catch him. There will be those, uh, Alan, who will say what was the difference between Shearer there and the one that was committed on him by the Grimsby player Whittle. The little look before the uh, use of the elbow. Yeah, I don't think it was as premeditated as that. He does tend to back him with his elbows anyway, Shearer, but I think he was lucky to get away with that, that's for certain. On well, Moy's side so far, standing up to be counted. Delighted, David Moyes and you know, his team have set about Newcastle in the second half. Shown a lot of hunger and a lot of character. Sending the big Ben forward, Ramage, Bramble, Boomsong in there with Shearer and Amiobi. It's in Amiobi's direction. Cahill climbs well though, doesn't he? Scott Parker. Cahill came across and caught him. Ramage's throw, met by Neville, and cleared by Van der Maeder. Lovely work from McFadden. And he just stretched Newcastle by finding Arteta. He looked forward in support. Three in the middle. And they just took it away from Beatty. And here's Luke. Amiobi to his right. Shearer to his left. Bowie has come forward as well. We're in the way though. But he was fouled after the ball had gone, Luke. And he's left the pass to the very last minute and just inviting the challenge. James B to come in back, that's a piece of him. And we're about to see the first Everton booking. James Beatty. Oh, typifies the desire of this Everton team now that the centre forward stashing back 20, 30 yards to get a challenge in. Opportunity though, they had one similar in the first half, and Solano trying to find the top corner with. Just fancy whether Shearer's once he's putting his foot through this one, just seeing what comes of it. Shearer and Emre range, no question about it, they're the two over it. Shearer's moved away. Emre! Oh, well, that's his own man, Ramage and Yobo together. Here's Insomnia. Parker. Martin untroubled. 
Oh, decent chance. Certainly one of the best that I've created this half. It's Joseph Yoba who gets the header away. We haven't created enough of these kind of opportunities. Scott Parker, first time side foot. Don't quite get it right. Emre who scored a cracking free kick in the time we're derby. Now the subject of Claire Cap. Arteta. That's McFadden forward. Boomsong successful with the challenge though. Well, it's been lively. Everton have got 20 minutes more to hang on and they're well versed in the art of keeping a 1-0 lead. Most of their victories in the Premiership lately seem to have been by that scoreline. All three of their victories so far this season by that margin. Here's Ramage. On by Luque. And here's Neville. has a problem which is uh, the reason why Nigel Martin has put the ball out strength isn't he when he's uh, in those defensive situations oh, no, he's taking a chance when he's trying to shepherd it out like that time for a change for David Moyes a little bit of impetus 
On by Shearer, back by Aliobi. Luque, first touch, let him down. Bramble. Yoba, Arteta, now Davis. Followed by Ramage. He's done well, hasn't he? Good to Ramage, he's had a lot to do. Most of it he's done very well indeed. Bramble. Yobo. Clash between uh, Van der Maeder and Ramage. Newcastle just want to get on with things and Ramage did that from the free kick. Here's Parker. Manages to avoid Cahill and keep going. Struck his own man, Luque. And it's away by Davis. And Shea Geddon has come a long way, not put off by the fact that he took a whack to the head from BT earlier. And, and showing a good bit of footwork as well. well he's probably made a mistake. He's had a, well, a good view of those kind of... Well, it's all about win preservation, self-preservation now for Everton. So Andy Kevin Kilban coming on. Kevin Kilban. And Andy van der Maeder is the man who is uh, going off. Van der Maeder still not played a full 90 minutes for Everton. Well, he's shown his quality at times with his delivery, but uh, also once or twice his control has let him down, still adjusting to the Premiership. Here's Boomsong. And into Yoba in the end, but on route, he'd actually been caught by Cahill. Less than quarter of an hour left here but to come after this we've got West Ham against Manchester United so make sure you stay with us for that live from Upton Park Sky Sports 1 from 3.30 Beating Hibbert now in Zogbier Parker and Zogbier again. <laughs> Cahill. McFadden. Oh, they just won't let Newcastle settle, will they? Terriers about the Newcastle players whenever they're on the ball. Here's Beatty. Kilban. Simon Davis. As the game draws towards its conclusion, Alan Shearer becomes the subject of player cam. He was the one name that Everton fans were dreading seeing on the team sheet. One said to me earlier that uh, he always scores against them and they're right 18 in his career against Everton. But Everton going forward with Davis. Great chance. Oh, he was onside as well. The flag stayed down and Beatty spurns a great opportunity to tie this one up. Well, he knows it as well. And it was work right once again. They won the ball back. Good vision from Davis. He's got the body shape of trying to keep over it, but it doesn't work out that way. Golden opportunity for James Beatty. He knows it as well as anyone. And the pain of that miss will be felt by him. Because that could have finished Newcastle off once and for all. This is a little bit of composure. Second of the goal. He knows he's on his own. He knows he's got all the time in the world just to hit the target. And possibly can. Number 21. Quite a distance off in the end over the top of the crossbar. How many times will he find the back of the net in training when we're on with one of those chances? A bit different on a match day. Another Everton change. Mikel Arteta, who's 
Picked up a knock is going off to be replaced by Leon Osman. And really now Osman could have been coming on with the game virtually sewn up. But as it is, it's still in the balance. More than 10 minutes left, and Newcastle given hope. This is Luque. If it fends him off, Osman gets straight into it. And here's Kilban with Neville on the overlap. That was a foul by Ramage. And it's the fifth card for a Newcastle player. Oh. Well, Howard Webb was just going to allow the advantage. He could have brought it back and booked Ramage afterwards. Phil Neville had gone on to this down the flank. Here's McFadden. Kilman. Neville. Osman. Well, I haven't seen all of the games ever turned on. This has got to be as well as they played, I would imagine. In front of their own fans. Good controlled performance this second half. Tompkins ball in, he's offside, Amiobi. Well, less than ten minutes left now for Newcastle to save themselves from slipping to a second consecutive defeat. But is this a turning point for the man on the other side? Osman. Beyond Cahill beats his round the back. He's put in a lot of work, a lot of endeavour. This match, James Beatty, I think Goodison Park is still waiting to see the best from him, but I can't complain about his level of effort today. Bramble. Pushed it on. Bramble has that space covered. Well, Newcastle have been complaining about uh, time wasting. Given had to snatch the ball back to try and. Get things going again from the free kick, but the opportunity wasted. Fiercely determined Scotsman David Moyes, who uh, has of course been linked with the Rangers job should it become available, but here at Everton he seems to have uh, retained the faith of a large portion of the Everton supporters, despite the problems that they have been having. between Davis and Boyer. Change the match for Newcastle, he's still getting to grips with life in England, never mind about life on the park. Marcus Spence, who used to play for Graham Souness at Blackburn Rovers, all set to come on. Good substitution for Everton as he comes off on number eight. 
it's James Beattie who wasted a great chance to score for the third home game in a row. It's the man being replaced. Well, he'll be sat at home tonight in his armchair kicking himself, I'm sure. That moment will be going through his mind time and time again when he could have put the game beyond doubt. But I think he'll be quietly pleased with the way it's gone in general. Is it going to be yet another 1-0 win for Everton? Shearer looking for Luque. He's onside here. But he was outnumbered. I don't know what Luque was trying to do there. Waiting for the ball to drop instead of attacking it and shifting it forward. Here's Boya. It's Luque again. Shearer available if he can pull it back, but he's gone for it himself. And into the side netting. Oh, it just shows you. I can't switch off for a second. A couple of very dangerous moments. Shearer involved in both. And Bowyer's final through ball. comfortable than even Everton would have anticipated the moments last few minutes for Newcastle but haven't been able to build anything sustained here's Nzogbia and he's dipping but not quickly enough Okay. Almost tried to place it in the net there in Zambia. Well, anyone who had money on Joseph Yobo to be first goal scorer has done well. 50 to 1 he was, and he's picked up an award himself, the Barclays Man of the Match. You'd expect the keeper to stop that just above him. Oh, 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 oh,
the same ball. McFadden will get another chance here. It's a good delivery towards Cahill, but Bradley in the way. Very typical Cahill run. Throwing himself at the ball. Yeah, Bramble knew that time there was somebody behind him. They'll be happy just to take the time now, Everton. Tip the clock down. He worked really hard. Last 90 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, the fourth official has indicated... It's three, three minutes away now from three minutes getting back on the straight and narrow. That's how much three stoppage minutes. time there is. Cahill looking to get underneath it. It's going to fall here to Osman. And here's McFadden. Good opening. Tries to place it. Cahill. And again. Oh. He can't believe that Gibbon thwarted it. Well, maybe the Gibbon can't believe it either that he got the opportunity to do it. In fairness, Cahill's both of his efforts are straight at the keeper. A little dink over him and it's a goal, particularly on that second one. That's where he should have done better, Cahill. There's Yobo. Never. Well, it's, just, it's almost as though his team don't know how to win a game any other way than 1-0. Well, three points, that's the most important statistic if that's what they end up getting. The goal, goals will come and with the results, with confidence. Fielders and they, Scott Parker. They were looking for Kilbane in the corner, but he couldn't give it in. Newcastle will have a quick chance to pick themselves up in the week and they'll pursue their ambitions in the Carling Cup. But still, they can't string a consistent run together in the Premiership. Is Emre is there one last chance for an equaliser for Newcastle? Cleared by Yobo, goal scorer. Emre and Zogbia driven against Hibbert. Well, Everton's goal came from a corner, and Newcastle with a corner now to give them one last attempt to get their equaliser and Shea Given has come forward for it. And it's towards him, he can't get near it, Boya hits it, Yobo deflects it, Luke looks to keep it in. And it's all over and Everton are back to winning ways. David Moyes team grinding out a trademark 1-0 win thanks to a goal from Joseph Yobo, a header from a corner. 55 seconds into the second half. The pivotal points of the game, either side of half-time, Newcastle before the break, denied a penalty through what seemed to be a clear handball from James McFadden, a second successive defeat for them, but Everton getting the response they needed off the back of their West Brom defeat. Everton won, Newcastle nil.